What I'm about to say is gonna sound like hyperbole, but I promise you it isn't. I heard one of the most impressive Dolby Atmos demonstrations at CES 2023, and it was, without a doubt, the most impressive Dolby Atmos demonstration that I ever heard that involved a soundbar. Folks, we have to talk about the Nakamichi Dragon 11.4.6 wireless surround sound system. Welcome back everyone, I'm Caleb Dennison and as you can tell from the background, I've returned home from CES in Las Vegas. And the fact that I'm recording this video now, nearly two days after hearing the Nakamichi Dragon, that's not an accident. Look, CES is a hype fest, right? It's easy to get caught up in the mania. I don't care how seasoned a journalist you are. Everything about it is designed to look and sound amazing and get you excited. Most of the TVs I saw at CES were genuinely exciting. They looked amazing and they clearly have a lot going for them. How will they perform in real life scenarios? That remains to be seen, but that's what reviews are for. We get excited about the potential and then we get real when the rubber hits the road. But with the Nakamichi Dragon demonstration I received, I walked away so impressed, almost literally blown out of the room, that I felt I needed to sit with the experience for a bit before talking about it. Kind of check myself. Was it really that amazing? Did they pull any tricks I didn't catch right away? How would I honestly rank it among sound demos I've had in the recent past? Which lands me right back to what I said in the introduction. The Nakamichi Dragon system really was one of the most impressive at home, or in this case at hotel, Dolby Atmos demonstrations that I've ever heard. And the exciting bit is I have every reason to believe that it's going to be just as great in consumers' homes because trust me when I say there was nothing special about the hotel room it was playing in. Kind of an open space, average height ceilings, plenty of hard surfaces, no acoustic treatments, just a massive sound system kicking some serious ass. I am the one who runs from both the living and the dead. So what is it and why is it so great? Also, how much is this thing gonna cost? Well, let's talk about that. So let's start with a very brief history lesson. If you're in a younger generation, maybe you best know Nakamichi as the brand that has brought us the Shockwave soundbar systems, which have developed a bit of a cult following. But those of us Gen X and older probably remember Nakamichi from back in the day when they produced some of the most outrageous high-end audio equipment you could buy. And their Dragon line, I'm talking super luxe tape decks, turntables, and CD players that cost an arm and a leg and were just built to the hill, right? So that's where the Dragon name comes from. Nakamichi is resurrecting that brand and honoring the legacy by building a no-holds-barred, unapologetically over-the-top wireless soundbar surround system with the goal of beating the pants off of anything that looks or works remotely like it. And I mean, I think they've done it. Just look at this soundbar. It's made of a solid piece of steel that they actually have to source from an auto supplier because there isn't a speaker maker in the world that does anything like this with steel. Built into that soundbar are at least 15, possibly 17 drivers total including three air motion transformer tweeters. These are the same type and quality folded aluminum tweeters that you find in high-end audiophile speakers like those made by Martin Logan or Golden Ear. The surrounds are bipolar, that's with a B, covering the surround and surround back channels. And for the upfiring Atmos channels, there are actually four in the top of the soundbar two aimed at 20 degrees and two aimed at 10 degrees. And then in the surrounds, the Atmos drivers are aimed at 20 degrees, but you can rotate them to optimize the reflection point off the ceiling. All of that in the effort of getting more even Atmos coverage. And that's already insane, but now we have to talk about the subwoofers. There are four subwoofer drivers total in two enclosures. Each has their own amp and each can be turned on and off individually. So you can have one eight inch driver at work or two or three or all four going at the same time. Turn two on in one enclosure and just one on in the other for three if you want. I mean, the base customization is unlike anything I've ever seen in a system like this. And it's all wireless, save the power cords. The soundbar has four HDMI inputs, three regular inputs plus an eARC port. There are 15 amplifiers in total delivering up to 3,000 watts of power 
And Nakamichi claims it can reach SPLs of up to 125 decibels, which I have no doubt is true because it got uncomfortably loud for me at about 50% volume, and it had plenty of headroom to go. Haunted by those I could not protect. Add to that the fact that this is the only soundbar that has the Pro processors for Dolby Atmos and DTS that you'll only find in AV receivers otherwise. So it goes beyond the sound object placement and rendering that you're going to find in any other soundbar. In fact, Nakamichi had to talk Dolby into working with them and actually allowing them to do this. Also, there's more control and customization built in, all accessible via on-screen interface, by the way, than I've ever seen with a soundbar system before. And yet, apparently, you can more or less set it all up in about 15 minutes once you turn it on. I mean, on paper alone, this thing is insane. It really is built like a self-contained home theater system that would involve separate speakers and a beefy AV receiver, but it's wireless and more or less plug and play. So it stands to reason then that Nakamichi would charge a premium for it. But guys, 3,500 bucks, that's the price of admission. And I can hear you right now, you're thinking, why not just buy an AV receiver and separate speakers? Well, you could do that. But then along with that comes a lot of hassle. And I get it, I kind of enjoy the hassle, but if you want something that is more or less plug and play, this is it. I mean, I haven't seen or heard anything else that pairs the sound that it puts out in such a form factor with such convenience. It's pretty unique. So you'll pay for the privilege of owning it, but oh, what a privilege. The sound was spectacular. The surround effects, including the Atmos effects, were extremely seamless and encompassing. Mad Max, I've never heard it so good outside of, say, the extreme Klipsch system that I have here right now with the Integra AV receiver. And it is scary how close it got to that system. So I exist in this wasteland. But it wasn't just flashy effects and surround processing. The core fidelity of the system was excellent. They played some two-channel and multi-channel music and the articulation, air, detail, transients, presence, soundstage, and visceral effect were outstanding. I mean, outside of maybe the Sennheiser Ambio, this is the only soundbar I've heard that didn't feel like it was a sacrifice when it came to dedicated music listening. I loved it. Oh, and the bass, pff, forget it. Those subwoofers were, well, I won't say they were out of control because they were quite well controlled, but they were also brutal. It's kind of funny what happens when you put four well-powered eight inch drivers in decent enclosures. Anyway, I can't wait to get the Dragon in for review. It might be a little while. I know they're just starting to make these, they're just up for pre-order right now. But if you like what you see and you want to get in on this, I say go for it. You will not be disappointed with what you get. I also want to say I'm glad Nakamichi was willing to get me in late at night before they started their first full day at CES. To think I almost missed out, well, I'll just say, had I not heard the Nakamichi Dragon, then CES really wouldn't have been complete. A man reduced to a single instant. Survive. Thanks as always for watching everyone. Don't forget to like and subscribe and keep your eye out for even more content coming from CES 2023.